I think a lot of good things tonight. You know, obviously Dwight Howard was dominating, uh, you know, on the boards and scoring, making free throws, just did a lot of things um, really, really well, kind of carried us tonight. But, you know, Kent Bazemore off the bench, it was great to have him back. So, um, you know, it's, it's a good way to start the road trip. A lot of respect for how hard uh, Philadelphia plays, how well they're coached. Um, you know, they're not, they're not an easy team by any stretch of the imagination. Start with Ken's game and just make four three pointers. Even, I mean, I imagine that was a spark. And then, what did that do? Kind of trickle down to the rotations. Um, well, you know, it, it's uh, you know he kind of took um, you know Mike Dunleavy's minutes, who you know a little bit of the uh, ankle soreness. So it was kind of um, you know there really wasn't a change to anybody else's minutes. Um, you know we've been playing DeAndre some, and we tightened it up a little bit in the second half. Uh, but so, um, you know, when we have Mike and Bays, then, uh, you know, we'll have to figure it out from there. Is that just a matchup thing with Dwight that he was so successful down low considering who they were missing? Uh, you know, I mean, I think a lot of it's just Dwight. Um, you know, I thought he played really well, did a lot of things. Um, and then, you know, I think they're a little thin on the front line. So, um, you know, I think we could just take advantage of that. And, uh, you know, they probably had to, to get through it without fouling and all that stuff. So. Um, but I thought, you know, a lot of credit to Dwight for just how, the, how he played. Did you see good things to turn around coming? I mean, do you see? Yeah, no, I mean, these last two nights, I think, the, you know, things have been better. I think just the spirit, the competitiveness, the playing together, all those things, um, they've been better. So to your record on the second of a back-to-back -back is the best in the East, and that's on the season. What does that say about the way you all have played, you know, down the stretch throughout the whole season? Um, I didn't know that, you know, hopefully, uh, just, you know, our guys take good care of themselves, you know, give a little bit of credit to our APT staff or, you know, the, the strength and conditioning coach, the trainers, everybody, they do an amazing job of taking care of our guys. Um, I think they take care of themselves. They're professional. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to win on back to back. So it's, it's something that the guys should feel good about. Back to Kent real quick. Uh, was 20 minutes what you had in mind for him before the game or did he earn that or prove that he was doing well? No, that was, you know, kind of at the upper end of it, you know, um, plus or minus a couple um, around 20 was kind of the, the goal. You see that extending in Chicago? Um, you know, we'll just kind of evaluate it tonight. Um, if it does, it won't be by much. You had mentioned before about trying to get a little form. Now the season's kind of come to an end. You want to get to that postseason form. How nice and important for you guys to start to come together and trying to get the fit, make that push now? Yeah, no, it's important. I mean, we were, we were in poor form, you know, two games ago. So I... You know, a couple wins, you know, I think playing the right way, um, you know, doing those kinds of things can change things. And, you know, we got a good seven, eight, nine games to, to continue that. Um, we're on the road here for, you know, for a while for our next couple. So, you know, it'll be a challenge, uh, you know, Chicago on Saturday. When you have a back-to-back -back situation when you guys had tonight, and you guys, they kept coming at you and you just kind of pushed you for through the tonight. Just talk about that aspect of the way you kind of just fought through something like this tonight. Yeah, there were a couple stretches where, you know, they cut it to two, I think 83-81, and I think Tim Hardaway hit a big three, and different guys stepped up and made plays, and, you know, just got to have poise on the road and just kind of believe in what you're doing, and uh, I thought the guys were good. you still envision him eventually getting back in the starting lineup once he gets his wind, or...? You might. You know, we'll see with, you know, I think we have a handful of back-to-backs and, um, you know, how we can get his minutes up. And, you know, I don't think we're prepared to really say anything um, either direction.